to review the brew with me, Joe Brew. Yes, hello, welcome back. After the huge success of Review the Brew with Joe Brew number one, I've decided to make another. And it's another low percentage beer because that is my specialty, speciality, specialty, speciality. One of the two. We've just had a meringue disaster and it. Immerangency. Different glass today. It's a smaller glass I'm going to use because it's a smaller can. Today we're going to be doing this is Mackerson Stout. Mackerson Stout, I've actually had this before. This is a. I mean, it says here, I don't know if you can see this, but it says original and genuine because people are out there making fake Mackersons. I've had Mackersons before. I had it, I don't know, about a month back. We had a dinner party at our, our house, this is my house. Welcome. I'd seen it in the stout section before. I decided to get it because why wouldn't you get that? It's either going to be something that tramps drink, tramps, sorry, homeless people drink, or it's going to be something that old people drink and it turned out to be something that old people drink. This is something that I pointed, I put on I don't know, Instagram or something like that, and people were saying, I remember my grandma used to drink Mackerson stout. It's the sort of original milk stout. I've actually wanted to drink it since then, but I couldn't. Because every time I went into Morrison's, there was an empty space where the Mackersons would be, and previously I bought some Thwaites Champion Mild. And the gap there for the Chapes, the Chapes, the Chapes, the Thwaites Champion Mild was empty since then, but they had a little space for it, they had a space for the Mackersons. And every time I went in, I would check and see if the Mackersons was in. And every time it wasn't there. But then yesterday, or the day before, probably the day before, or the day before, not important, I went in to Morrison's to buy something, what was it? Buying Morrison's. Um, crisps? Looking for reductions? Looking for reductions. Good, good to get some reductions. I'll show you some of my reductions at some point. You'll be jealous. Went into on the off chance. We weren't going to go shopping in a supermarket at all. We've been to the range to buy some frames. And there it was, resplendent, sat there. A whole tray of Max and Stamp. Oh, fish and chips, that's what. That's what we were gonna get, we were gonna get fish and chips. We weren't gonna get fish and chips, I think we were gonna, we were gonna, we were gonna get a pie and chips because we thought about fish and chips. And in the end, we didn't go for fish and chips from a takeaway, we went for fish and chips from uh, our own oven. Which is nice sometimes, isn't it? It's nice to have that freezer dinner. The Mackersons were sat there, I bought four things of the Mackersons because I know it's delicious. Or is it? Because it might not be. Time for the pour. Oh, you have to smell first, don't you? Right. I mean, it's actually got quite very, very strong coffee flavours. But not coffee from now, you know. Coffee from, coffee from the past. Instant coffee, maybe. I mean, it smells good. It smells good. It smells strong. It smells like Christmas coffee. You know that coffee you have on Christmas Day? It sort of seems out of place. You can smell turkey. You can smell coffee. Coffee around your friend's house. Nice coffee. But instant coffee. Anyway, time for the pour. You can pour yours now. Do you want? I mine now. Got egg on your face, by the way. Yeah, just a, yeah. <laughs> your, your egg on your face because of the, the meringue emergency, and you've literally got egg on your chin. <laughs> a meringue, sorry, it's not just egg. It's not just egg, fine. Sorry to tell all six of my subscribers that uh, you've got egg on your face. Anyway, I remember it being smooth. And the thing was, it was for it was at a sort of dinner party type of thing, so I didn't think. I didn't think, oh, I best make the most of this delicious, delicious drink. I just drank it, and um, it oh, 
you probably want to know the percentage because 4.2 don't touch that brew. Lower end, 2%, your flush should end. This is 2.8%. So 2.8% brew. Cheers. I'm out. It is perfect. It doesn't taste weak. It's got that coffee flavour to it. Oh, it, it you're gonna love this when you do it. It's genuinely delicious. I mean, as well. 3.30 in a can. Calories on that, 123 calories. I mean, that's not bad, is it? It doesn't taste like Guinness. It looks like a Guinness. It doesn't taste... It tastes bitter. It tastes roasted. And I bet it'd be really nice with a, a, a pack of pork scratchings. Not dry roasted nuts, because you don't want roasted and roasted, but that means it's complex flavour. Max and Stout, I recommend it thoroughly. I've got to go. Meringue for dinner. Gotta go.